Lucid Man, Commander. I figure you've got a few words for him, too. Shepard, looks like Edie extracted some interesting data before the collector ship came back online. Cut the act. You set us up, and you better have a damn good reason for it. We needed information on the Omega-4 relay. That required direct access to collector data. It was too good an opportunity to pass up. Agreed. But I don't like surprises, especially when my ass is on the line. I put you at risk, yes. But without that information, we don't reach the collector homeworld, and you and every other human may as well be dead. It was a trap, but I was confident in your abilities. And don't forget Edie. The Collectors couldn't have anticipated her. You have one job. Information. If I can't trust your intel, you're useless to me. It's never that simple. You of all people should know that. I know that I'll be a lot more careful. With the Collectors, and with you. This is no time for petty grudges. Things are about to get a lot tougher. Edie confirmed our suspicions. The Reapers and Collector ships use an advanced identify friend foe system that the relays recognize. All we need to do is get our hands on one of those IFFs. I was just on the Collector ship. Why didn't you say anything about finding their IFF? As I said, Edie just confirmed it. Besides, you wouldn't have had time to find and extract it, but we have options. An Alliance science team recently determined that the Great Rift on the planet Clendigan is actually an impact crater from a mass accelerator weapon. A very old mass accelerator. I sent a team to find either the weapon or its target. They found both. The weapon was defunct, but it helped us plot the flight path of the intended target, a 37 million year old derelict reaper. We found it damaged and trapped in the gravity of a brown dwarf. I saw what Sovereign did to the Citadel fleet. Hard to imagine anything could stop something that powerful. This vessel is a relic from a battle waged while mammals took their first steps on Earth. There's no trace of the species that took the shot. Perhaps it was their one moment of defiance before being wiped out. I only believe you because I doubt you'd repeat yourself so soon. It's no less a risk, Shepard. We lost contact with Dr. Chandana's team shortly after they boarded. Initial reconnaissance revealed no clues, and it was too risky to commit more resources. But now we need that IFF. I'll forward the coordinates to Joker. In the meantime, I suggest you tell your crew I didn't risk their lives unnecessarily. It will make things easier going forward. Edie, tell the crew to assemble. We've got a lot to talk about. Of course, Shepard. So the elusive man didn't sell us out. Could have fooled me. Lied to us, used us, needed access to the collector databanks. Necessary risk. He tries something like that again, and the collectors will be the least of his problems. Edie, are you sure this IFF is going to work? My analysis is accurate, Shepard. I have also determined the approximate location of the Collector homeworld, based on navigational data from their vessel. That can't be right. Edie doesn't make mistakes. The Collector homeworld is located somewhere in the galactic core. Can't be. The core is just black holes and exploding suns. There are no habitable planets there. Could be an artificial construction, space station protected by powerful mass effect fields and radiation shields. Even the Collectors don't have that kind of technology. The Collectors are just servants of our real enemy, and we've all seen what their masters are capable of. They built the mass relays in the Citadel. Who's to say they can't build a space station surrounded by black holes? No wonder nobody's ever returned from a trip through the Omega-4 mass relay. The logical conclusion is that a small safe zone exists on the far side of the relay, a region where ships can survive. Standard relay transit protocols would not allow safe transport. Drift of several thousand kilometers is common, and would be fatal in the galactic core. The Reaper IFF must trigger the relay to use more advanced encrypted protocols. 
Just because we can follow the collectors through the relay doesn't mean we can take them out. I don't want to go after them until I know we're ready. Sooner or later we need that IFF. I say, why wait? It's a derelict Reaper. What if the collectors are waiting for us? We may want to build up our team before we take that kind of risk. The more people we have on our side, the better our chances of success. We need to keep building up the team. It's your call, Commander. Whatever you decide, we're with you. You had me so worried when you were trapped on the Collector ship. Thank goodness for Edie. That sounds like more than just professional concern, Kelly. You're more than just my commander. You're my friend. Edie brought you back to me. If she had a body, I'd give her a big hug. I'm standing right here. Where's my hug? Welcome back, sir. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel. Name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs. Told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me. Shepard. Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir, it's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. 
Thanks for your time. Next. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Yes? I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? If I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. I should be going.